What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trevi Trev, and I'm back with another video. You know, this is a, a more of an impromptu kind of video. I'm just making this video because I felt like, you know, this is an impromptu video, like I said. But, you know, I just got inspired, so I said, I, let's go get it. You know, I got inspired by Tom Brady retiring. You know, I'm not the biggest Tom Brady fan in the world. I'm not the, the biggest LeBron fan in the world. I'm not really, like, a big fan of these major like hall of fame level guys i like i like like players with more grit and kind of like swagger to them like a john morant if we're talking basketball or like i would say if we're talking football uh, i'm trying to think who's my favorite quarterback like football wise but you know like a different type of player but you know i definitely get inspired by these guys watching greatness and you know i felt like that's a good subject to talk about today is appreciating greatness because you know tom brady <clears throat> excuse me Tom Brady, he retired today, and then I thought about it because I've been watching Tom Brady since I've been alive. Like, he's been literally playing since I was alive. Like, he's he's played 23 years in the league, and I'm 25. So, two of those years, I've two of those years he wasn't in the league, I've been alive. But he's been playing besides that. So, besides besides that, um, he's been playing for a long time. He retired today, you know. You know, he had a hell of a career, a Hall of Fame level career. He's he's easily the GOAT. I'm not even going to lie. He's easily the GOAT. You know, he's not my favorite player in the world, but I can definitely respect what he's done for the game and how long he's played. But, you know, he brought up a – he like, his retirement brought up an interesting point to me because, like, I thought about how in my life and in our lives, we don't necessarily appreciate greatness until it's gone. Because usually when we see greatness over and over and over again, that's the standard we expect. And then when we expect that standard, it becomes, you know, less, it, le it becomes less like more, less impressive, I would say, because everybody expects greatness. But, you know, greatness is built over time and greatness is built by being consistent and being competitive and doing the doing the right things most of the time. And, you know, I feel like Tom Brady, he's a good example of that because he's been you know, dedicating his life to the game. He literally went through a divorce in love with the game. He literally put so much of his time and body on the line for the game. And, you know, that was his dream. And, you know, he's definitely someone you should admire. Even if you love him or hate him, you can at least admit that the guy put it all out there. And, you know, he gave up a lot for the game and he's dedicated to it. And, you know, I feel like a lot of us, we could take away in our personal lives that, you know, we should go after our dreams just like that. Because, you know, it's inspiring to see a guy who go basically from my age to 40 something years old doing what he loves and you know now finally walking away with a peace of mind so it's just crazy it's crazy to see and it's just impressive to see and i think we should all like take that example and appreciate him even if we love him or hate him so for me personally you know i i'm a business person and a business consultant and you know Oh, excuse me. In my life, I've I've gone through a lot and, you know, I've put a lot of work in to become a pretty good businessman, I would say, by my estimation. But, you know, there's still more work to do. There's still motivation that I have. I still got a lot of gas in the tank. But, you know, I'm working on other things, too. And, you know, it's just Tom Brady's a, a good example that all of us can learn from. And, you know, if I'm going to use a story from my personal life, um, I always get motivated when I see people doing better than me, which is the complete opposite because a lot of people hate when they see someone doing better than them. And they always like, you know, default to hating, default to jealousy, default to just sabotaging. But me, I get motivated by that stuff because I can I, I can see greatness in the flesh and I can see things that I want. And then it motivates me to get those things even more. You know, I'm just a driven guy like that. And Tom Brady is, too. So like me personally, I see a lot of older people in my line of work, they like to flaunt their cars. They like to talk about how they're superior to me, how they have seniority if you're a business person. And you know, that, that makes me mad, yes, but it also motivates me to get those things as well. Not necessarily for them, but just because I want those things to say I have that and I can hang my hat on that. And also because I put in the work in and that's just a testament to me. Cause like a little side story from my life, when I worked at a country club, there used to be this guy and he was like, a, like, I'm not gonna lie. He's not my favorite person. He was a bit of an asshole. And I mean that because he was rich, a product of nepotism. And he would always park his Bentley right next to my crappy Hyundai. And then he would have the nerve to be passive aggressive or say, oh, oh, Trevor, you're from the hood, you know, this, this and that, or my car's better. He would just always do these little things to piss me off. And, you know, it never got to me personally because 
you know, I always said, you know what, this guy is, does have better things than me, but I'm going to work and get my things the right way. And then when I make it, I'm not going to be like him. I'm going to help others. I'm going to be better. And, you know, he's not necessarily a great person or greatness, but that's just the, the symbol of status and greatness that I should strive for. And, you know, I wasn't on no hate and stuff like him because he saw something in me that he lacked and he had to always flaunt that. But, you know, I always appreciated seeing that stuff in the flesh because it always motivated me to do better. And it always made me say, yo, you know, I got to get my stuff together. This guy, he's on a different level than me. And I had to work to get to a level where I'm satisfied. And, you know, I feel like Tom Brady, he's like that to a lot of like NFL players and people coming up in, in the league or in the world if they're just looking for a role model because he's just like the epitome of greatness. When you talk football, you think, hey, I wanna be like Tom Brady. I wanna be like Joe Montana. I wanna be like John Elway, or I wanna be like one of these great players. And you know, he's a symbol of doing that for so long. And I feel like we all could learn something from his retirement. We could learn something from how he played the game and how he prepared and how long he lasted. And you know, you can say what you want about the dude in his personal life, but it's definitely impressive. And, you know, I got to give a salute to Brady for for basically, you know, just hanging in there as long as he could. And, you know, I think we all should appreciate greatness in our, our life because we rarely see it. And we're not going to see it for a while in, in the NFL. And then even when LeBron retires, we're not going to see the same level of play for a while, the same level of greatness. So my takeaway from Brady's retirement is take like take great. Never take greatness for for event. Ah, yeah, I can't speak today. Never take greatness as like. For granted because it's like um it comes and goes greatness comes and goes and when it's there you should learn from it you should appreciate it and you should become great in your own life and that's pretty much my message for today i'm about to hit the gym and then i'm probably going to make another video later or a couple for a, a couple days from now because i'm not gonna lie i'm swamped with work i'm preparing for this business trip i just got a lot going on and i just want to keep the momentum up because i've been doing pretty good and you know i started the year off running and, you know, I'm doing good. You know, it's Black History Month. I got a big project ahead for that at my personal job, not necessarily for my channel. And, you know, I'm just trying to keep it moving, you know, because the year the year is 2023 and I'm ready to go. And, you know, a lot of people talk about their resolutions. And like I said, I just got reservations. I'm, I'm making it happen. And, you know, that's the end of the video. You know, like, comment, subscribe. I'm glad to talk to you guys as always. And, you know, y'all have a great day. You know, salute again to Tom Brady. A hell of a career. I've literally watched you play since I was a little boy. I, hell, me and my brother, we were even talking about it because he, he has a PS2. And he was just playing the old PS2 games. And we were talking about how old you are because we were watching. He was playing Madden 05. And I was like, damn, Brady looks so young in this one. And you've been another Madden. So it's just crazy to see how you evolved from when I was a little boy to now. And I'm just, I salute you on retirement. I salute you on a great career. Thank you, my man. You know, thanks for all the great years. Thanks for all those crazy Super Bowls, win or loss. We enjoyed watching you. And, you know, well, some, most of the time, sometimes you were really boring. But, you know, thank you, my man. And, you know, enjoy retirement. Enjoy your family. And just kind of just look back on what, you, what you've what you done with pride. And, you know, that's about it. You know, and you all have a great day. All right.